hey y'all welcome back to my channel be for real i am brit so first things first subscribe 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 make sure you press that bell to get those notifications turned on so you do not miss a beat and i know what y'all thinking bruh where have you been it's been a month bruh I, what what what's going on so i did go on vacation you know i had a month to breathe real quick get my situation together but i am back and i'm glad to be back i missed y'all so as y'all can see this is what we get into today chickpeas are life i'm going to show y'all today three simple easy vegan chickpea recipes that everyone will love all right don't knock it until you try it but we are going to go ahead and hop right into the video things first we are starting off with our tahini chickpea wrap i know what some of y'all are thinking what is tahini for those who don't know be sure to check out the description box i will have a full list of the ingredients as well as things that you may have never heard of before so that way you can get a better understanding of what is going on here but long story short tahini is basically grounded up sesame seed so here y'all just see me getting the marinade together. It is a mixture of agave, liquid aminos, lime juice, and some seasonings. I will have the full measurements in the description box below. But I'm going to go ahead and toss these chickpeas up in a pan. They are rinsed. We're going to put these on medium high heat. Let them brown a little bit. Yup. Just like that. So we're going to go ahead and pour in the little marinade that we made get these john seasoned because we need it to be right i'm going to go ahead and stir that up and let these cook down for about three minutes it doesn't need to be long because you are literally just heating it through and letting this marinade do its thing i did of course go back and add a little bit more garlic powder and paprika you know for the culture so i just go went ahead and stirred that up they are done we are going to very quickly make our tahini dressing so i'm just putting in some minced garlic and ginger y'all see the liquid aminos rice vinegar lime juice a little bit of water and that is the tahini so it gives the consistency of peanut butter essentially a little bit kind of not really not really but y'all get where we going okay now i'ma just warn y'all it's a lot of wrist flicking going on in this video okay now if you come back with a little cramp or something don't blame me i'm just i'm just listen it's the nature of the game so now our tahini is popping it is well combined, got all our ingredients incorporated. I did, of course, had to go back and add a little touch of some chili garlic sauce, but that is optional. I just got my station set up here. These are the wraps I am using. We are gonna go ahead and just spoon that tahini right on that wrap. I am generous because I do not like my wraps dry. So this is completely optional with how much you put on the wrap, but it ain't no choke sandwiches over here, bruh so i am generous and we are going to go ahead and just top it with the chickpeas get our veggies in there you could of course use whatever veggies that you like these are the ones that i chose to use and we are going to go ahead and roll this right on up and there is a wrong way to do this and i'm not about to act like i'm the expert okay but i got it done and we just went ahead and popped the seasoned wedges on the side i am going to go ahead and cut this in half and you know just look at the art that i just created you know so let's go ahead, moment of silence, to appreciate this art right here, okay? All right, so now we are moving right along to our tangy chickpea stir fry. I am going to go ahead and start off making the stir fry marinade. We're just getting that minced garlic and ginger up in there, some uh, liquid aminos, we're doing some rice vinegar, you know, all all the things that make a great stir fry of course as stated i will have the full measurements linked in the description box below here i'm just going ahead and pouring in some dissolved cornstarch we are going to go ahead and flick 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 flick, flick our wrist all up was that corny y'all was that corny that i just did that whatever anyway we are going to move right along and get our veggies popping we are going to place our onions our peppers we're going to do some broccoli some carrots i did want to do mushroom but i ran out <sighs> and you know how that go sometimes you just gotta make it work so i popped the chickpeas in there i utilized half of the marinade um i didn't have to use the entire thing but i just went ahead and let that simmer down 
for about 10 to 15 minutes until the veggies were tender and i also gave that sauce the opportunity to thicken up and i'm just going to go ahead and use some quinoa right here we are going to top our veggies on the quinoa now you can utilize whatever grain you would like so whether it's quinoa you know rice jasmine rice you know show off so i'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle the sriracha up on here like art because if y'all know me y'all know that i like to show off with feeling like i'm i really feel like i'm bobby flay out here i don't know who i think i am i watch too much master chef to be honest so on to our curry chickpeas or chickpea curry, whatever, floats your boat. So I'm starting off with some yellow onion chopped up. I'm just going to go ahead and let that cook on medium high heat for about a minute, you know, and then I'm going to toss in the garlic and the ginger minced, of course. I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. We're building our base. This is, this is us building our base. And I'm going to pop these rinsed chickpeas in as well. I'm also going to get our veggies in there. And we are going to let this cook down for about 10 minutes because you want those veggies to get a little tender. And I will have a full list of the veggies I use in the description box below. So please, please, please check that out. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on some pink Himalayan salt. That's what you see me doing here. I'm going to go ahead and flick my wrist, give that a nice stir. And we're going to go ahead and cover that and let that cook down. So after the veggies done doing their thing, we're going to go ahead and give that a little stir and pop in our coconut milk. This is full fat coconut milk. So we're popping that in. We're going to stir that up, get everything nice and combined. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. I'm going to add our curry powder in. Now I'm doing this according to my instinct. Okay. So I can't give you exact measurements because I did this according to my instinct. Now, y'all see me pop that cayenne pepper in there. Now, why I put that much? Let's go back. Let's go back. Sheesh. Oh, my God. What was I thinking? Don't follow me on this. This this was a mistake. Okay. I was, one, I was like, damn, I really got a kick. But, yeah, I failed. That was a fail. So, anyway, don't follow me on that. Make sure you put a pinch. Here, I'm just popping in some scallions, some cilantro, and a little pinch of chili garlic sauce. I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir. This was nonetheless good. The mistake of the cayenne did not take away from everything else that was going on. But be sure that y'all do a pinch, okay? But I did go ahead and taste it right here just to make sure everything was everything. The flavors married together so well. And you all know that when you let something sit for a day... When you come back tomorrow, it'd be the best leftovers you ever had. So keep that in mind as well. But this was by far my favorite chickpea dish. I love this. I definitely put it in my rotation. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and plate this up. Get a little fancy on y'all with the rice. I'm using brown rice for this dish. I am going to pop on the side some avocado. Sprinkle on some parsley. I love the avocado with the curry because it helps cool the curry down. Now granted, mine was a little spicier. But it's a great marriage with the, with the avocado. The coolness of the avocado and the spice of the curry. Bang. Okay. So don't say I ain't never tell y'all nothing, okay? So that is it, y'all. We are at the end. This is a wrap. I apologize in advance for taking this impromptu break. I ain't even tell y'all. That was rude. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I'm here, though. I'm here. So... As always, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you are out there making these recipes, please feel free to tag me in your Instagram photos. If you are on Instagram, at BeForReal610. I would love to see your full pictures and how you and your family may have enjoyed these meals. So be sure to tag me and I will see y'all in my next video. Like a stir fry, whip it in the kitchen, wrist, kiss it like a stir fry, whip it in the kitchen, wrist.